All right, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to play a Gwen top lane in season 13. So what you want to run is either Lido Tempo or Conquer. You want to take Triumph, Alacrity, Elastant, a Biscuits, and Cosmic. Then we also have a Dorn's Ring together with Ignite and TB. Um, this game we're playing against a really interesting matchup. We're playing against Camille. And in case you guys are a little bit unaware, Camille is pretty broken currently. Um, ever since they changed Hydra and like some of the items, like some champions like Camille, especially specifically Bruisers, they've been doing well, dude. Um, but also worth noting, Gwen is also stronger than ever right now. Don't know if you guys have noticed, but the win rate from Gwen has been skyrocketing since, um, since basically four weeks ago, and also the change of season thirteen. I mean, not that Gwen has, like, been bad or anything. She's always been good, but it seems like she's doing even better now. Which is really fun to see. Ugh, I missed that CS. So we're going to be playing, like, a poking style for this reason. I have Biscuits with Cosmic. I'm going to do the best I can to, like, hit him from a, um, from a range. So that he can't hit any autos on me. In case he does actually try and engage... I'm going to do the best I can to, like, sidestep the, the jump. If I can successfully sidestep the incoming dash, um, this matchup is going to be an absolute piece of cake. So that's the, old, that's the most important thing in this matchup. All I have to do is to stack up all the time, making sure I dodge the abilities. It's okay if we get hit once. Um, but if I keep getting hit consistently, it might turn into a problem. We have a Grace also topside. Ooh, that's the passive coming out. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna pop in the potions and the biscuits here. Good trades. So this is pretty much like the kind of playstyle that you're looking for. Um, you're consistently looking for short trades. Gwen is like a burst champ. Mostly. Ooh. Lily has in bottom, so... No Jonas here. So now we're going to be holding my E, because... Um, unless we can get a Q off, I'm going to be holding it so I can dodge the, the incoming E from Camille, right? Nice. That's what. That's when you want to use E, right? If there's no chance that Camille's going to jump in, you're going to press it to poke. Otherwise, you don't. Oh, I don't want to miss that one. My bad. Another one. Um, This guy is playing with TP. Got to remember this. Hmm, he will probably jump. Come on, Camille, jump. I know you got this. He's not jumping, apparently. He's holding it. Aha! Very well, then. Hmm. I think that my Malsahar can probably kill this guy. I'm trying to bait though, but it's not working out. Nah, it's not working out, unfortunately. I've been trying the hardest I could to like bait that stuff, but... Turns out I couldn't, unfortunately. Um, let's go with a... I'm personally thinking about going for Steel Caps right away. It will definitely help. We can also go for this to maximize damage. I think I just might go for this instead. There you go. That's TP. You know, usually I'm more of a fan of like rushing steel caps because in general it gives you movement speed and armor, which helps with laning. Um, but in some cases, if trading goes pretty smooth, you can actually go for AP right away and just get more damage. Right? It's going to help us with uh, a slightly more, you know, 
winning the trades much more likely and just getting better poke out. Oh, we're going to miss a few. Nice. We have my ultimate now. So now we just uh, maintain my stacks as much as we can. I want him to use his um, his E, but so far he's been holding. Oh, turns out there's a ward. Ooh, we got a free auto attack off. Okay, I, I, you know, honestly, you can take anything in this matchup. If you can get a free auto, it's worth it, because you always have to proc the passive first. Ah, just too much still. Just a little. Hmm. Well, free damage still not enough. I think I can probably kill him, but I have to hit the center. Yeah, that's what I need. That's exactly what I need. There you go. Um, now we gotta be very careful because um, Lilia can drop in a ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically dead already. I can count myself dead right now. She's not chasing. I was 100% dead right now. There's no way I could have ever been going, getting out here. No way on earth. There's a Lilia right there. And she decided to continue the camp. Instead of killing me here. That's pretty impressive. That she's willing to not take that kill to go for the jungle camp. In, in fact, I think... He's, this guy isn't even going for this one. He actually took this one. He literally cancelled a kill here just for this camp. That's absolutely not worth it, bro. I will experience everything like I never could before. I'll take it. Yo, my Jonah getting the dragon. Awesome. Um, let's let's get some trades in again. Yeah, now we're starting to do a lot of damage. As you can see. Turns out that Lilia's top again. Ah. Uh, I'll take it slightly more safe. Free Q damage. Always appreciate it. We lost some CS though for trades. I don't really like that. It's not going for that camp though. If he do if he drops in a W, I'm going to drop in my full combo. We will see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I do way more damage than Camille's W. Uh, turns out that Balsar is on the way. Yeah, let's go. Let's try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the cannon. We have a Balsar on the way. Okay, pretty good. Let's grab some of the plates. Um, I will go for plates. I can't afford to... Oh, nice. Okay, it's dead already. 
I think that Camille's gonna TP. Or not. Oh, it didn't work out. He's been waiting for decades. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. He lost a lot of time there. That's really unfortunate for him. I think that Lily is looking for a catch. There you go. Yeah, she's not going to get that off. Okay, so we're going to reset. I'm, I'm going to buy the, the Rift Maker. And then we also start building towards a Nash Institute for the, uh, the damage. Um, There it is. Um, and we're, of course, also going to go for tier 1 boots. Since we, you, you know, of course, we got to run, right? We got to be able to chase and run. Without boots at this stage, you're, you're really making it difficult for yourself. So currently we have Rift Maker. This guy's still trying to build his item. He's got three of these. I got like multiple plates and Camille has nothing on my turret yet. So we have like a, a farming lead. We have an XP lead. We also have like three plates lead. So that counts up a lot. I'm really far ahead on Camille currently. I can technically just right click Camille and still win without any effort. I'm like that strong currently, so every opportunity I get to all in, I'm gonna take it now because I'm stronger currently. Good. We've got the turrets. Next. We take the wave, then we probably back off. Don't overstay here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to overstay. I would love to do it because I have the damage to take the turret down before this wave goes down. But it's um, it's not worth taking the risk. You know, sure, I, I can probably take on like 1v2. Um, but a third person could also be there. Let's go for that one. Let's go for uh, more attack speed. I'm going to sell that one too and just get myself the blue trinket. And then we go back top. Let's see. Um, she has to find and tier one boots. Um, we, on the other hand, we already have all this stuff and we also have the two level lead currently. Let's see if I can kill Camille. Nice. All right. Next wave. Uh, I think Camille's still here, I think. Yep, she ran off with that HP. Alright. I'm going to take the turret down. I think Camille's resetting still. Off the her bed. Nice. We got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's why I'm not scared about the turret. Like, sure, you, she can jump in, but as long as I don't auto attack Camille, the turret is not going to focus me. She doesn't have the damage to kill me yet. Oh, 
Okay, let's... I think I'm just gonna sell my Dorn's Ring. We don't need that stuff anymore. Um, unless, of course, we can't even buy the item. Never mind. It's fine. So now we're gonna be pathing blue. I'll take that blue. And then we probably go back top. I have my TP, so it doesn't matter if they go for Dragon. I can go there if I want to. I don't want to walk through the dragon myself because there's a chance that the, the, dra the drake fight may not happen. Oh, wait, it's going to reset. And we grab this one. There you go. No time like the present. Yeah, my whole my, my teammates are having a pretty bad game, so we're chilling currently. Nice. We have a Yumi on the way. Also, a grace on the way. Let's grab some camps. Okay, Yumi. Nice. He, uh, might walk that way. I'm not going to risk it. This guy apparently is pretty strong. Well. <laughs> that was honestly pretty interesting. Okay. <laughs> Alright. These guys are actually really, really fed. Okay. <laughs> Nearly deleted. Dude, that Jin is like 11 kills, bro. Recently, I've been seeing so many ADCs in the enemy team just stomping balling with like 10 kills plus. It's just another one of those games. I'm going to take some jungle camps as well. Unfortunately, there's nothing to do currently. I can't split that easily. Can't take that fight. I wanted to jump in, but I couldn't because there are too many. Ah, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Like, Jin was honestly such a free kill right there, but he still had the Gale Force. I think we might go back top again. We just have to wait for better opportunities. There we go. Oh man, so much fighting. Come on, man. All this fighting, like, there's no reason to fight. We have a Varus currently on 9 deaths. It doesn't work. But they keep fighting anyway. Camille doesn't have to play the game because my teammates are just too far behind already. Turns out she took a camp. Sure. Let's go back. I want to fight Camille, but I can't do it because they, there's too much pressure on mid. Twelve kills Jin. 
With exhaust. A gene with exhaust. Drake spawns in one minute. No worry, we're definitely not going to go bottom. Even with the dragon up, we're just not going to win the team fight. It's not going to happen. I'm going to stay up here. I won't care if the Drake spawns. I'll see it as an opportunity to do something. I think they're probably resetting to go top. Yep. Like I said, Jin's on the way. This is partially one of the reasons I can't split properly. Oh no, Camille's getting kills now too. There are two people topside. I think, however, if Jin farms the wave, I can actually try and kill him. Unless. It's so weird. Like, there's three people in top lane. You would assume that, that we have a free dragon, but we don't. Like, they're actually rotating towards it. They're about to get it for free. It's so disappointing. We actually lost that dragon. There's like three people top lane and we still lose the dragon. Three people. The best opportunity, to be honest. There's still there's still Nico in top. Even better, we're getting chased down by two other people as well. Oh, this game is so annoying. Gotta deal with like this Jin all, all the time. Alright. Gonna sell this one and get it? No. I still need more. Again, I can't make any place. I have TP all game, but I don't think I can ever use it. I will experience everything like I never could before. I don't think like Camille is never going to approach me ever because um, this guy always gets free kills on my teammates. He will never try. There's no reason for Camille to try. Or even be top lane. That's that's also a thing. He's got no reason to be top lane, right? Yeah, going in for that stuff. I mean, I need to back. I want to back off because of the the turret in mid lane. It was very unclear if we could fight that because there was no vision. There was like a huge lack of vision. Oh, you need to sorry. Um, there was a huge lack of vision in the jungle here. Um, there's no way I could have seen if we could fight this. If, if I were to go in and Jin would show up, it would be done. I would die as well. Ah, they got Baron. I hope that, like, I hope that this farming is going to be worth it at some point or another in this game. I hope. Seeing my dress 
Seems like they're back in mid. To be honest, it's better to have Yumi in mid lane and waiting for a play than staying here because I have my TP up. I'm kind of forced to like force the lane since otherwise Yumi is going to be pointless. Alright, here we go. Yeah, now he's here. He's got to join it. What? Who's TPing though? There's a Nico here? Still chasing though. Alright, let's uh we can retry this though. All right, let's go for, uh, let's start building towards Rabidance. I might also get a, uh, a Zani at some point this game now. Interesting though, these guys are making, like, uh, the enemy team is really, 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 really fed, right? We have an, we have an AD carry um, at 28 minutes in the game, having a one item, right? You would assume that this game is over by now, but we've been holding this game up until this point just by splitting the entire time right normally a game is over already in a in this game in, in, in a game like this right our ad carry is beyond useless this game that's how far behind he is but we're um keeping the game standing just by splitting all the time who knows like if we continue this we might be able to turn the game I got my TP, but there's no reason to TP currently. Yeah, now I'm gonna TP. Now I have no choice but to TP. And that's how I die. I just got completely CC changed. Oh man. The fight took 5 seconds for me, and I was CC chained for 3.67 seconds. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I'm pretty sure I could have I beaten them there, but my W came in late, I was being stunned. So I couldn't activate my W. I took way too much damage. Uh, let's go for the Codex. I'm like building like two items at once. It's better than, than having a Dawn Shrink currently. I can't give up. Not now, not I need Yumi on me here. Since I have no TP anymore, I have to join the fights anyway. Uh, I'm going to take another wave. Yep, got him. Good catch. We got two people. So, knowing that we have two people right now, we should try something out. We should force a fight, maybe. We, uh, we, we have like two of their carries down. At least one carry down. Let's see. You know, my teammates are, are trying to fight or do whatever. So let's grab some turrets. Nice. 
Ah, well, that's unfortunately not a gin. It seems like we're making a progress. Got it. Okay, so let's get my Rabidans. It's going to maximize my damage. And then all we need is a Zonia. Okay, I am really, really, really strong right now. I don't look like I'm strong because I'm only six skills, but trust me, believe me here. I am really, really, really strong right now. Gwen in the late game is really, really broken. It's really, really broken. You'll see it right now. Guys, Gwen in late game is so, so broken. Watch me like shredding turrets right now, guys. You're, you're going to be mind blown with my damage. L look how fast we're like shredding the wave, guys. Look at this. Come on, man. This is not legit, right? You see? Yo, where's that Jin right now? You see what I'm talking about? Got it. Hmm. Of course, I get CC chains. Oh, that sucks. Um, this was a very important decision I had to make here, because if I backport, I decide like, hey, I'm gonna reset, um, they'll get, um, they'll get the objective. If I decide to fight them and try and 1v9 them, I could prevent something. We could get, uh, Baron, or in this case, even the Dragon. Sucks, man. I could've killed all of them, but I got CC chained. Ooh, nice. They're not finishing the game. Okay, sure. That's a mistake, bro. My teammates are weak, man. My my AD carry is a minion at the moment. Bro, the enemy team could have just finished the game here. I was like dead. I'm like the only person in this game who is actually useful. If I'm dead, they can just finish. My cannons, my cannons cannot defend this base. Okay, we're full built. Nice. We're maxed out. Now all we need is my team to group up. Nice. This game is done. It's over. I'm destroying their base in two seconds. Watch this. Check out my damage here, guys. Check this out. Check my damage. Oh, ah, no, I get smited. Kidding. Nah, dude. I got flash smited. She flashed and then she pressed smite. Is that really how I died? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jin's gonna play passive. I mean, to be honest, my teammates can uh, build Jin here. Yo, that's so unfair, bro. Like, getting, getting flash smited. I don't like the true redemption smite. You know, if, 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 my, if my AD carry placed a ward... Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna try and finish. There we go. This game is over. Well, maybe not yet. See you later. I still won the game. After this, Jin was 12 kills in the early game. You kidding? We still won this game. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, either way, this is Gwen Top. Thanks so much for watching today's um, absolute 1v9 of a YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.